Hi, I'm Veronica and welcome to Jersey City Pilates. In today's class, you're gonna need a towel if you have one, a dish towel is perfect. Um, we're gonna be using it to slide both our arms and feet on the ground and we will get started. Start, come up to stand. You can leave your towel on the ground. And you're just gonna take a nice big inhale. And then exhale. Lift your arms up overhead. And then inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, press your arms back down by their sides. Take another big inhale. This time, notice where your inhale goes. Are your shoulders raising? Are your ribs going out to the side? Is it all in your stomach? Try to focus on the lateral movement and backward movement rather than your shoulders lifting up. And then lift your arms up all the way towards the ceiling. Press down with your right hand as you side bend up and over to the right. Reach long through your fingers in all position and sweep that arm back up. And then side bend over to the left, lowering your left arm down to the ground. We hope this is it. And then come back up one more time, each side, reach down with that right arm. Really think about breathing into those ribs on the top side as you side bend up and over. Good, and then come all the way to the top and then press your arms down, grow tall through the crown of your head, lowering your arms all the way down. Come to one end of your mat and then you're just gonna nod your chin and slowly roll yourself down one vertebrae at a time, letting your knees be nice and soft. And then just grab opposite arm, opposite elbow, and then shake your head yes and no. Let your spine release here, and then you can gently rock back and forth from one side to the other. And then release your arms and then just sit down into a nice low squat and then straighten your legs. But think about lifting through the sitting bones as you do and then bend back down and then lift up. So as your hips lift, your head lowers. Feel the stretch to the back of your legs. Your feet can be hip distance or a little wider if they need to be. Two more. Last one. And then let your arms hang. And then roll yourself all the way up again, one vertebrae at a time. Good, stack your spine up nice and tall. Release your arms by your side. And then from here, you can stand whichever way makes sense. You're just gonna step out to the right and then side, not side, <laughs> Lean your weight over to the right into a little low lunge here, and then keep yourself nice and low as you switch to the left side. And then again, keep yourself nice and low, switch your weight over to the right. Make sure your feet are in line with one another. They're wider than your hips, but not crazy wide that you're like, you know, off the mat or anything. Stay nice and low, switch over to the left. If it is comfortable and you can be all the way down here on the floor going from one side to the other, you can do that instead. Whatever feels better for you. I'm gonna stay up a little higher. And we're just gonna do one more time to each side, stretching out the inside of those inner thighs, warming up your glutes, legs in general. Shoulders are relaxed, last one to the left. And then round yourself forward in the center, walk yourself over to the left. Let your head hang. Take a nice big inhale, breathing into that right side of your body. And then exhale, let yourself fall over the right. And then fall back to the center. And then walk your hands up your legs, round your spine up one vertebrae at a time. And then you're gonna come down onto the ground, onto all fours. From here, in all fours, have your towel convenient off to the side, hands underneath your shoulder, shoulder width apart, knees under your hips, hip distance. Tops of your feet are pressing down into the floor. 
And then you're just gonna tuck your tailbone under, round it up towards the ceiling, and then drop your head. And then uncurl your spine, one vertebrae at a time, lengthen through the front of your body. And then again, curl it under, feel your hips draw towards your ribs. Dumbbells pull away from the floor. And then uncurl your spine. One more time round, make it up to the ceiling. Watch that your elbows are not hyperextended. And then square your palm off, coming through that neutral position into a slight extension. And then find a nice neutral spine. From here, pressing both hands into the floor, you're gonna let your sternum drop down towards the ground, and then you're gonna press up. Let your sternum drop, shoulder blades slide in towards your spine, and then press and lift. That. And then back down and press up. But your hips stay nice and still. Neutral pelvis here. Your abdominals are not sagging towards the floor. They're coming with you as you lift. One more time. Exhale, lift. Good. And then from here, send your hips back towards your heels and then lengthen the front of your body through your arms, just getting a little stretch here and then come forward and let your knees come back slightly behind your hips. And you're just gonna come forward over your hands and then over to the left and make small little circles. Coming through a child's pose or a modified child's pose into a little modified plank and back two more in this direction. Really feeling the weight shift through your hands, the connection and engagement across your back and of course through your abdominals. Then come forward and then reverse. So over to the right, circle the hips back, around, this should feel nice. So whatever size, circle, range of motion feels good for you. You can always fold your mat over if this bothers your knees. Three more. Two. And last one. Good. And then from here, come onto your back and bring your, I'm sorry, you're not going to bring anything with you. You're just going to lay down on your back, but I'm going to grab a block so that I can modify this for myself. Here, you're going to lay all the way down on your back and then go ahead and bring your right leg up into tabletop. Head, neck, and shoulders can be resting on the ground, or you can bring your hands behind your head and curl your head, neck, and shoulders up. I'm gonna leave my head on the ground. Good, just the right leg is in tabletop to start. You're gonna take a nice big inhale, and then exhale, extend the right leg long, and then bring it back in underneath you. And then extend the right leg long, and bring it back in. Four more like this. Making sure you're keeping your abdominals in that little hug position, wrapping them around as you extend and bring the leg back in. Making sure to not press your abdominals out towards the ceiling. Good, and then from here, you're gonna bring your left leg into tabletop, and then you're gonna lower your right leg down. Left leg extends and resists to bring it back in. And extend and back in. Check in with your hips, make sure they're nice and square. If your head is lifted, Make sure your chin is not pressing into your chest, your ribs are drawing towards your hips. And again, your abdominals are descending towards the floor rather than pressing up towards the ceiling. Three more. Two. And last one. Good, leave your left leg in tabletop, bring your right leg up to meet it. With both legs here, you're gonna tap your right leg down and then bring it up and then lower your left. Good feeling, you can always bring one hand to your abdominals, feeling what's happening here. You shouldn't have a whole bunch of pressure. My range of motion is very small today and that is totally fine. Two more. Really focus on exhaling as you start to lift that leg up and initiating your breath before your movement. 
And then pause with both knees at the top. You can bring your knees into your chest and give yourself a little rock back and forth from one side to the other, if that feels good. And then from here, you're gonna extend your left leg down to the floor. You can either have it bent and pressing down into the ground or along your choice, and then extend your right leg up towards the ceiling. You're gonna bring your right leg slightly across center line, and then up around and pause at the top. And then down around and circle up. And if you wanna make this a little challenging, you can bring one arm up or both arms up. Or again, your head can be lifted or on the ground. Your choice. Four more. Three, two, engaging through that left inner thigh. Last one in this direction. That left leg is staying nice and still. Hips are square. Breathing as you go. Two. And last one, bring your right knee into tabletop, bring your left knee up to meet it. And then you're gonna extend your right leg long and then switch and switch. If your head is lifted, you're just gonna stay here with it lifted. You're not gonna start to add any um, rotation from one side to the other, just extending through the legs for six. Five. Four. Three more. Two. Last one. And then lower the right leg down, lift that left leg up. If your leg doesn't want to go all the way straight, I didn't say this on the other side, but by all means have a bend in it. And then cross your center line out around and up. And whatever position your leg is in, whether it's completely straight or bent, doesn't matter. Just try to keep that same position consistent so you're not bending your knees, straightening it. You want the circle to come from the hip rather than the knee. Two more. Last one. And then reverse the circle. Keeping those hips nice and square. <coughs> right leg is still. And last one. Good. Bring your left knee in towards your chest. Bring your right leg up to meet it. And then you're going to go into that extension one leg at a time. <coughs> Here, should you choose, you can bring your hands behind your head, press your head into your hands, and you're going to start to add a twist. That twist will consist of your left ribs going up and over towards the right more than knee to opposite elbow. <coughs> Good, we're gonna do five more to each side. Four, check in on those abdominals. Three, two, nice and slow, last one. Bring your knees into your chest, give yourself a little rock from one side to the other. And then bring your legs straight up towards the ceiling. Again, your head can be lifted or you can be flat on your back, your choice. And you're just going to bring one leg in towards your body as the other leg lowers. Again, your knees can be bent, they don't need to be totally straight. And then switch for a little scissor here. And switch. Nice and small range of motion. So you're staying still and neutral through your pelvis. Your ribs are relaxed. They're not gripping on for dear life, neither of your abdominals. Back ribs are pressing into the mat. Collarbone is nice and wide for four. Three. Two more. Last one. Bring your knees into your chest and then grab onto one leg and extend the other nice and long. Here, you're gonna grab anywhere on that top leg except right behind your knee. So on the thigh, on the calf, the ankle, whatever works for you. And then you're gonna switch and grab onto the other leg. And switch. And again, head can be lifted. And switch. Keeping your shoulders nice and relaxed. You're just using your hands to get that little extra stretch, but your abdominals are doing the work of bringing that leg into your face. Two more to each side. 
Again, going nice and slowly here, focusing on the left through that leg, both legs really, as you extend, last one. To the right, to the left, and then bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little rock back and forth from one side to the other. Plant your feet down nice and carefully. And then you're going to pause here with your Self on the floor, bring your hands by your side. Press your feet straight down into the floor and then lift your hips up into a bridge. And then peel yourself all the way back down, one vertebrae at a time, really tucking the tailbone under as you roll. Try to open up through that low back and then press your feet down through the floor, lift up. And then round yourself down one vertebrae at a time. Two more just like this. Think about squeezing an imaginary ball in between those inner thighs. Glutes are working, your legs are like a little lever to lift your body. And then release at the bottom. Here you're gonna think about dragging your heels towards your shoulders, curl the tailbone under one vertebrae at a time, tuck under, keep rolling, rolling, rolling as you peel yourself off the floor. And then you're going to find that neutral pelvis and place your uh, spine back down and curl the tailbone under. So we're just doing the reverse of what we were doing before. The challenge of this side is once you find that neutral, finding the length to lower down. So when you lower your hips straight down, you want to make sure you're not compressing your spine and bring your hips closer up towards your shoulders than they were before when you picked them up off the ground. So use that engagement through the back of the legs to do so. Two more. And if you find a sticky spot, you can also just hang out there and, you know, roll and unroll through it. I'm doing this class first thing in the morning, so my spine is nothing but sticky spots. Curl the tail under, this will be the last one. And then find that neutral and lower all the way back down. Good, from here, you can Come onto one side and then push yourself up and you're going to find a modified bridge position. Um, not modified, sorry, reverse plank position, modified, more like a bridge. So your hands can be facing you or to the side, whichever is comfortable, but either way, really think about opening up through the chest and pressing your chest forward so you're not collapsing and you don't want to be like all rounded through your upper spine. Again, the hand positioning is whatever is more comfortable for you. Think about lengthening from your tailbone, like that is planted in the floor all the way through the crown of your head. If it is not comfortable to let your head fall back, that's fine. You can keep your chin tucked a little. Just make sure you're supporting your head, but you're not down here. This is not helpful for breathing. Good. Plant your feet, press them into the floor, and then you're going to lift straight up, send your knees forward over your toes, lift your torso up and then lower back down. And then thinking about lifting to the back of the body. Dumbbells come with you and then back down. We're gonna do three more like this. Good, using your whole hand to press down into the ground. And last one. Good, and then lower all the way down. From here, you can let yourself slouch around, give yourself a little stretch, whatever feels nice. And then you're gonna think about curling your tailbone under. So this is just kind of another variation of what we were doing in bridge. We're just staying neutral, staying bridge, or staying that top. So think about curling the tailbone under, drawing the abdominals in, sending your sitting bones down the backs of your legs as you peel yourself up, and then rounding yourself back down. And then release to neutral at the bottom. And then curl the tailbone under as you round up. And then round back down. Two more. Somehow my mat is half the width that it normally is. And last one. And then lift. Slowly peel yourself all the way back down. And then bring your legs forward. 
round forward over your leg, shake your wrists out if you need. And then sitting up nice and tall here, you're just gonna find that space and length through your spine. Bring your arms straight out in front of you, take a nice big inhale. Exhale, feel your abdominals engage and then hinge back. And then coming up forward. Inhale, exhale, hinge. And back up. Again, finding that wrap before you move. Two more. And back up, last one. And then tuck the tailbone under, round yourself all the way back down. Good, finding yourself on your back. You're gonna bring your right leg into tabletop and you're gonna extend your left, or sorry, your right arm is gonna be on the floor, your left arm is gonna be lifted. You can do this with your head up or down, your choice. And you're gonna bring your right knee in toward your chest. Press on the exhale. Feel the engagement through your abdominals as you press your left hand into your right leg and vice versa. And then extend long for that opposite arm leg reach. And then you're gonna bring them back in. Inhale and then exhale. Press, find that engagement. Hold the engagement. You exhale, you can continue to breathe. Don't hold your breath here. Inhale. And extend. And using this press here as you pause, to really deepen through the abdominals. Find the wrap of your abs, the transversus, and then also your abs are descending towards the floor, managing that internal pressure. Last one. And then lower that arm and leg down and switch sides. So right hand to left leg, inhale, exhale, descend towards the floor and then extend long and then bring it back in. And go at your own pace for this. If you need to go nice and slow, great. If you wanna go a tiny bit faster than I'm going, that's also fine. Try to use this to deepen your breath and your abdominal connection though. So don't speed through this. Three more. Two. Last one. Good, and then leave that arm and leg up. Bring your opposite leg and arm back up. And then from here, you're gonna extend your right arm and right leg out to the right, and then bring it back in. Other side. Keeping your hips nice and square. Using that same thought process we were using a minute ago. Using that invisible now tension of the press between your thighs and your arms to help you engage to the core. I'm dropping my feet just to make it a little easier on myself. Two more on each side. Last one. Good. Give yourself a little hug here. You can bring your knees in little circles, whatever feels nice on your low back and sacrum. And then you're gonna come up into all fours again. So you have a couple options here. I'm just gonna fold my mat over. That will be the easiest thing, I think. Um, and you're gonna have your towel on your left hand. So just to start, you're gonna find your all fours position, have that towel folded or unfolded, whatever works for you, on that left hand, and then find length through your spine. You're 
You're being a nice neutral pelvis here. So take a big inhale. So your ribs expand wide to the side. And then exhale, draw your abdominals in. Good. From here, you're gonna inhale and then exhale. Bend your right elbow back by your side as you extend your left arm overhead. Slide it forward. Your hips can come back slightly and then press yourself back up. Doing a little single arm push up here, pressing through that left arm still, creating a little bit of tension and opposition here. Shoulders stay nice and relaxed. Two more. Last one. Big pause and lift the top. Now you're gonna do the same thing with that right arm, but this time your left arm is gonna come out to the side and bring it back in. And press it out to the side and back in. You may feel this one a little bit more through the chest on that left side. Try to keep that left arm a bit straight. Four more. And your hips can come back. Just make sure that your abdominals are coming with you. And you're not rounding your spine as you press up. You don't want to be up here. Find that neutral two. And last one. Good. From here, extend your right leg back behind you. Load it up off the floor. You're going to keep your right leg lifted. And you're just going to bring that left arm forward again as you bend the right elbow. Left, whatever, right leg is going to lift. And then come back up. So you're just letting that leg lift as your torso goes forward. Press and come back for six. Five. Four more. Finding length through that left, right leg rather. Keeping yourself nice and square to the floor. Two. And last one. Good. Bring that knee underneath you. Give your wrists a little shake out if you need. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm just going to switch directions so I don't bump into this. Good. So now the towel will be on your right hand. Left hand is on the floor. Find that nice neutral spine if you came out of it. And then you're just going to start. Bend the left arm, press the right arm forward and then resist to bring it back. Good, keeping yourself again in a nice neutral pelvis. Neutral spine. For six. Five, neck is long. Make sure your shoulders aren't creeping up past your ears. You wanna keep them nice and controlled where they belong. Two. And last one. Good, now out to the side. So right arm reaches and press on the left. Right arm reach and press for six. The more the weight stays over your arms rather than over your heels, the more challenging this will be. So you can play with your weight. You can bring your weight back and see what that feels like. And then bring your weight way forward and feel what that feels like. Two. And last one. Good. Pause here. Extend your left leg back behind you. Square your hips off. Think about length through the front of that hip and then bend the left arm, reach the right as the left leg lifts. Bring it back to center. And extend. Okay, so square, your weight is pretty centered. It's not all the way over that right hip. Not falling over to the right side. Four, three, two, and last one. Good, bring that back in underneath you. And then go ahead and extend your mat if you have it rolled over in this direction. And then you're gonna roll it over in the other direction, or you can just turn around. Put that one first. Okay. 
So you're gonna have your towel underneath your right side. And you're gonna back yourself up so that when you're just in your like most neutral all fours position, um, you have the towel underneath your foot. Again, find your all fours here. And then you're just gonna bring your right toes onto that towel, toes curled under, and then reach back through the heel and extend that leg long. And then bring it back underneath you, resist, and extend. Then resist to bring it back in. Really thinking about reaching long through the sitting bones on that right side. Three more. And last one, it will leave that foot long. Yeah, sorry. Leave your right leg where it is. Press up through your arms, wrap through the abdominals, curl the left toes under, pull yourself up into a bear plank. Stay in here, pull your right leg in and extend. And bring it in and extend. For six. Five. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. And then lower that leg. Bring the knee back in underneath you. And then switch that foot over to the other, or switch the towel over to the other side. If you need, take a second, take a child's pose, release your wrist, whatever you need to do here. Right top of the foot is pressing back into the floor. Neck is like nice and long. Bring that knee off the ground and extend it back behind you. Really think about reaching through the heel and then reach through the glute as you resist to bring it back in. Yeah, adjust however you need as you're moving. And back. Hips are square, chest is square. Spine is pressing up towards the ceiling, not in that you're rounding your spine, but that you're not sagging through your upper back. You want to stay nice and supported for five. And then just check down at your leg and make sure that your knee is coming right out in line with your hip and that your foot and ankle are in line with your hip as well. Three, two, and last one. Bring your left knee in, or sorry, leave your left leg long. Curl the right toes under, reach back through the heel, pull that right knee off the floor. Bring the left knee in to meet it and extend for eight, seven. Breathing as you go, neck is nice and long. Three, two, last one. And then bring that knee in lower all the way down. Then take that towel off to the side and then you can bring your mat all the way out, unfold it. We're gonna do two more things down and then we're gonna move our mats and actually end standing. But here, Come back into all fours one more time. We're gonna do some side planking. Extend your left leg back behind you. And then you're just gonna bring your right foot slightly out to the right side. So you're giving yourself like a little bit wider base of support here. If you don't need it, awesome. You can leave your leg right in line, but play with it as you need. You're gonna round, not round, you're gonna rotate your body around that right arm and right hip as you open up into a side plank. And then you're just gonna reach that arm back down, square yourself off. Your left foot is staying on the ground. You're rolling to the inside of that right ed left edge of your foot and then open up into the side plank. And then lower it back down and open up. One more like this. Good, stay here. Again, give yourself a wider base of support if you need. Reach that left arm overhead, press up through the right arm. Give yourself a nice side stretch here. 
Reach through the fingertips and the outside edge of your left foot. And then round yourself back down. Good, from here, keep that wide base of support. And you're going to extend your left leg and bring your left hand behind your head. Press your head into your hand, hand into your head. And then you're gonna open yourself up into that side plank. This takes balance. I have no more balance. So move slowly, breathe before you move. And you're gonna bring your knee to your elbow as you start to rotate forward. And then extend and open into that side plank, but try to keep that leg lifted. And then round forward. You're gonna touch your knee and your elbow. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. And then open up. We're gonna do two more. Keeping that right side nice and stable. Last one. And extend. And then lower that leg down. And then come down onto your right side. And so from here, you can either be in this modified side plank position that we were just in. Actually, you're gonna stack your knees regardless. You can be on your hand if it's more comfortable than being on your forearm. Stack your hips, stack your knees, feet are in line with your glutes, and you're just gonna lift your hips for four, three, two, last one. Good, this time, as you lift your hips, you're gonna lift and clamshell and lower back down. Lift and clamshell. So externally rotating that top leg, shoulders away from your ear, feet stay together for three, two. Last one, hold at the top. Clamshell just open and close for eight, seven, six, five, head in line with your spine, abdominals are drawing in. Three, two. Last one, lower all the way down. Give your wrists a shake and we're gonna come onto the other side. So we're gonna start with just a nice side stretch, side plank. So bring your right leg back, tuck those toes under, give yourself a base of support on that left side, rotate around the left side, reach yourself open. Do a nice side plank here. Feel that stretch through the lower back, the sides, and then rotate yourself back to the front. And open up. And rotate back to the floor. Make sure your chest and hips are both rotating open. You don't want to try to be doing this with your hips staying closed. It'll make things a little bit more challenging. One more. This time we're going to stay lifted. Stay in the side plank rather. Reach your right arm overhead. Get a nice stretch here. Really press through those hips up towards the ceiling to help increase that stretch. Shoulders are relaxed. Reach through the outside edge of that right foot. The finger is on the left side or right hand. Good. Bring that hand behind your head and lift the leg up and then rotate towards the floor. Bring the knee to the elbow. And open for four. We're only doing four of these. Three. Two. And last one. And then lower yourself down into a side plank. Here again on your forearms or on your hand, your choice. You're just gonna start with your hip stack, knee stack, heels in line with your butt, shoulder underneath your elbow, press yourself away from the floor, take your ribs with you, and then just lift your hips up for four. Three, two, last one. Now you're gonna add that clench also. Keep the feet together, lift the top knee as you lift the hips and lower down for eight, seven, 
six, you can just put your hand on your hip. If you need a little more support, hand on the ground. And if this is too much, you're just gonna stay here. For four, three, two. Top one, you're gonna stay lifted, just the clamshell for eight, seven. Again, you can do this on the floor. Start your breath before you move. Shoulder out of the ear on both sides for three, two. Last one, lower all the way down. Good. Come up onto your feet. I'm just gonna roll my mat all the way out of the way. We do not need it for the rest of the class. We are almost done, but what's some towel Pilates without working the legs a little more. So take the towel under your right leg. You can add your arms into this if you'd like. I'm not going to. I will show you what it looks like though. So you're gonna start with your left foot forward, right leg on the towel, and you're just gonna hit, come back into a lunge and then come all the way back up. So if you're adding your arms, you're gonna lift your arms as you lunge forward, press them down as you come up. But again, I'm gonna skip that. Make sure your knee is going right over your toes. And think about the connection between your foot, feet rather, as you bring them forward. Four more. Two. Neck is nice and long. Your abdominals are coming with you on both the up and the down. Make sure you are in a nice neutral pelvis. Decide you're gonna stay in that lunge. Go as low into the lunge as you feel comfortable and then just drag the right leg in and press it back out. And drag it in and out for six. Five. Again, you can be super low as long as you're in a nice neutral spine. Three. Two. Last one, stand all the way up, good. From here, you're gonna bring your right leg out to the side and then resist to bring it back in. It's like a little skater, like we kind of did in the beginning. Same motion. Resist to the inner thighs, trying to keep those hips nice and square. Last one, you're gonna stay out, bring it in and extend. So if you were on a reformer, this would just be skaters standing with one foot on the platform and this right foot would be on the carriage. For three, two, and last one. And then come all the way up. Good, one more here. You're gonna bring your right leg out to the side and sweep it back behind you for a curtsy. And then bring it back up and sweep it behind. So you are bringing the right leg out and then as you sweep it behind, coming into a little lunge on that left leg in this curtsy position. You can also do this with a bent knee on your back leg, your choice. Four more. Make sure your knee is in the same direction as your toes. Two. And last one, and we're gonna switch sides. Good. Before we do so, cross your left ankle over your right leg, and then just sit back here, get a little stretch. Think about externally rotating through this left side. Hold on to something if you need. And then stand all the way back up, great. Now that left foot is on the um, towel, right foot forward, your knee is gonna go straight over your foot and your back leg back. Again, you can add the arms if you choose. Five. Sorry, things are making weird noises for a second. Three. Two. Last one. You're gonna stay in that lunge. 
hold here, bring the back leg in and extend. Bring in and extend. Good. Six more. Hips are square, shoulders are relaxed. Two. Last one. Come all the way up. Good. Come in into your side lunge. I drive myself crazy by wanting the towel folded perfectly. Never stays that way. Good. Bring that left leg out to the side and then resist to bring it in. Hips stay facing forward. Same with your feet. Spine and neutral. Four more. Three. Two more. Last one, stay out. Bring it in for 10. Nine. Eight, holding this little squat. Four, three, two, last one. Bring it in and stand up, good. Shake your legs out a little if they're not tired already. One more here, just that curtsy is left. Bring that left leg out to the side just like we were doing in line both legs and sweep it back behind you towards that right side. Right knee bends right over your toes and right out to the side and sweep it back and bend. So again, you can either do this as like the little half moon, or you can just send the knee straight back with a bend. I'm gonna stick with that one for five, four, two more. Last one. And then come up to the top. Bring your towel off to the side so you're not going to step on it. Hold on to something if you need. Right ankle crosses over left leg. And then sit back, really thinking about externally rotating. Take a nice big breath here. Inhale. Good. And then separate your feet. Bring your arms up towards the ceiling. And then bend your knees a whole bunch. And roll yourself all the way down. Let your head go. Gently shift your weight from the right side to the left. If you like the feedback of having the towel in your hands for this, by all means, grab it. Just notice how your spine feels now versus at the beginning of class. And hopefully it feels a little longer, a little less compressed. Shake your head no, shake your head yes. Bend your knees a whole bunch. Draw your ribs towards your hips. On your exhale, peel yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Reach your arms up overhead. Leave your left arm where it is. Press down through your right arm and side bend up and over, reaching through both sides, both arms rather. Back up to the top, over to the left. Just like we started class, I feel like my range of motion has now improved greatly. Same with breathing into those ribs on the side. Once more to each side. And then back up, left side. Press and reach. And then bring both arms up. Come up onto your toes, reach through your fingertips. Externally rotate your arms, relax the shoulders. And then as you lower your feet down, press down through your arms. Lengthen through the crown of your head, ribs and abdominals are drawn in gently. And you are all finished. Thanks.